Was this a necessary purchase? Not an important question. Please don't be ashy or crusty this season. I feel like it's the snack that's a bridesmaid, but always the bridesmaid, you know? Who doesn't love a good excuse to stay inside, especially during the winter? Like, it's too cold and disgusting outside to go out there and do anything. My favorite weekend plans are no plans at all. And if you can relate to the hermit life, then you are part of a growing worldwide homebody trend. I love that we are all in the era of staying in and watching Netflix and taking naps because staying in like is the new going out. I used to be the girl that partied like every day of the week and now that just sounds exhausting. Like for the sake of my bank account, my liver, my mental health, <laughs> I have become that person that secretly hopes their plans get canceled so I can stay home. So in today's video, I'll be sharing cozy homebody products that help me get through the winter. And these are also perfect gift ideas for anyone who loves feeling good, self-care, and staying home. And also all of these products are budget friendly because let's be real, we all need to save money, especially with the upcoming recession. So all of these products will be under $30. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I genuinely love them. And all of the affiliate links will be down in the description. And let's get started. Number one, you need a luxury rope, okay? Now this is life-changing. Make sure it's fluffy and thick and fuzzy and keeps you really warm. Like, I guess you could get like a silk robe, but it's just not the same as fuzz. This is the one that I have. I'll link it down below, you guys. It literally makes me so happy just holding it because it's just so comfy. And, and it also has pockets, yeah, and a hood. Pair this red luxury robe with a glass of red wine. Unstoppable. Drum roll number two is fuzzy slippers. Do we see the trend here? Yes, it's fuzzy. These specific ones are really trendy right now. I see them all over TikTok. I didn't really know if I would use these because I already have slides that I wear around the house. No. I use them. In the winter, it is so hard to get out of bed and leave the warm covers. And I'm a firm believer in making your winter morning routine as comfy as possible. It's the best feeling to get out of bed and not let my feet hit like the cold ground and to just have it submerged in this ball of fuzz. <laughs> and the best part about these slippers is it actually has a firm under the shoe lining so you can wear it outside. Do I look totally ridiculous going to the grocery store in fuzzy slippers? Who cares? Number three is a sunrise alarm clock. As I just said, I'm a firm believer in making your winter morning routines as comfy as possible. And how you get up those first few seconds really sets the tone for the rest of the day. I live in New Jersey and the sun rises really late. So I'm often waking up in like the pitch black darkness. Like who feels ready to take on the day? in the darkness. This clock is a game changer because it actually emulates a sunrise. So if I set my alarm for 7 a.m., starting at 6.30, it'll like gently let off this really warm glow until it gets brighter and brighter into a full sunrise. And then my alarm will go off playing this really gentle music. And it's such a nice warm feeling to wake up to compared to my iPhone alarm just blaring in the darkness. Number four is this huge <laughs> tortilla blanket. I'm just gonna wear it for this whole section. Can we give it up for the blanket? Was this a necessary purchase? Not an important question. Do I love it? <laughs> yes. How do I even explain this purchase? I love tortillas, I love burritos, I love blankets. This is so comfy and it's like super thin if you can tell, but it keeps you surprisingly warm because it's so plush. I'm a huge fan of filling my household with ordinary items that have a spin on them. So instead of having like a regular blue blanket, you know, why not have a tortilla one? Because it just makes me smile every time I look at it. And I know that anyone who comes over to visit, like this is something that'll definitely grab their attention and they'll laugh or comment. And when you wrap it around yourself, you literally become a human burrito. So 10 out of 10. The fifth essential is a good moisturizer and or skincare routine. Please don't be ashy or crusty this season. I use this lotion, I'll put it up here. It smells so good and it's so thick and it's actually called body butter and it feels literally like that. It feels like you are a slice of bread getting lathered in butter. The smell combined with the feel and the spread, it's giving luxury vibes. And the flavor that I, no, not the flavor, the scent. 
<laughs> the scented one that I use is the avocado one or the shea butter one. But this brand also has coconut, mango, a grapefruit, olive, and it's like tailored to different types of skin tones so you can find like your perfect fit. I promise this is such a good product to gift yourself or someone else this Christmas. Moving on, the sixth winter essential is a good loose leaf tea. Coffee drinkers, don't come at me, just hear me out. I feel like everyone needs a good tea, even if you're a coffee drinker. Because when I'm drinking coffee, I'm like, boom, I'm ready to take on the day, I'm ready to get things done. It's a different mindset. There is just something different about tea on a slow Sunday where you just wanna like cozy up under the blanket and you feel elegant and sophisticated drinking it and I just feel like other homebodies can relate to it. Comment down below if you can. I'm currently drinking chai loose leaf tea from the brand FGO. I'll post it right here. I'm Indian and my chai tea standards are high and I take this very seriously and it is honestly really good. Let me tell you, this tea helps with headaches, it helps with my energy, and it gives me just the sense of like peace and calm, like everything is gonna be okay. It feels like a hug. One note I will say about this though is that it's a very fine loose leaf grained tea, so make sure your mesh on your tea strainer is extra fine too, because I had to buy a new tea strainer because with my old one, the loose leaf just kept falling through the mesh. Also another great tea brand is Tivana. I haven't bought this one in a while, but I remember I had their chocolate one. Just trust me, if you're a chocolate lover, you need to get this. Number seven, you need candles in the winter time. To be honest, I was never really a candle person until recently, but I've always been big on keeping my apartment clean and having this really clear space where I feel good to be in it. And I found that after cleaning my apartment, lighting a candle literally feels like a cherry on top. It's like the reward for cleaning is adding this beautiful scent to my nice apartments. I feel like with candles, really expensive ones can be a total bust and then there are cheap ones that are bangers. I found this, I think it's a Walmart brand. The um, company is Mainstays. These are literally like $3 and they smell so strong and they last forever. My favorite, it's not this one, it's actually the apple cider donut. It's so good, I already finished it. But I'm new to the candle game, so if you're a candle lover, please, I could really use your help. Comment down below which brands you think I should try because I am ready to spend my entire budget on buying candles. Number eight is comfy clothes. Sweaters, hoodies, quarter zips, sweatpants, must, must, must. Comfy clothes are a non-negotiable for homebodies. We don't take it lightly. I got this quarter zip on Amazon and let me tell you, I got five quarter zips before this one and returned all five because they either were not true to size, they just didn't fit right, they were bad material, like something was wrong with all of them. And then thank goodness I found this one. Also for hoodies, H&M has good, cheap quality hoodies. And if you've been following my channel, you already know that I only wear big t-shirts around the house. Loose fits are just a vibe, so check out the links down below for that. Number nine is a good journal. Between holiday craze, seasonal depression, winter blues, things get like really messy and chaotic. Check out this video I did on how to manage holiday chaos. But we want to make sure we are dealing with those emotions and not just suffocating them. <laughs> Which is why a diary is really important or journal for the men watching who don't want to call it a diary. <laughs> There are so many journals with calendars and like side note sections and contact lists and I wanted something really plain and simple, like literally just lines on a piece of paper. So I've been using this one for years. I just keep reordering it on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. Number 10, my favorite snacks. You need snacks to get you through the winter and anyone who knows me knows that snacks are like 70% of my diet. If I'm being honest, I literally have like up grapes right next to me that I snack on during filming. <laughs> they are single-handedly what get me through tough times. Some of my favorite go-tos are Halo Top ice cream because it's never too cold to eat ice cream. Do not fight me on that. And because it's under 300 calories for the whole pint. Smash. Also Skinny Pop. And also one that's super underrated, s'mores. I feel like it's the snack that's a bridesmaid, but always the bridesmaid, you know? People like the idea of it, it's a good prospect, but it never gets chosen because it's too much work because you have to get three different ingredients in three different aisles, and then you have to sit and wait while the marshmallows roast and then assemble it instead of just opening a bag of chips, you know? 
And number 11 is a paint set or a coloring book or a puzzle. Repeat after me. We are trying to save money this season. We are not trying to go to the clubs in skirts in 30 degree weather and spend $20 on a margarita that's watered down. Even just stepping outside to walk my dog, somehow money ends up being spent. So we are staying inside. I love having a fun, creative hobby to do at home. Something fun, something cheap. So painting. Oh, you're not a painter, you say? You have zero artistic abilities? I bought this thing called Paint by Numbers during the pandemic. It's basically a canvas with a picture that already has outlines and numbers on it, and those numbers correspond to colors. So it's basically like a coloring book with paint, and you just have to paint those colors in those numbers. You can feel like freaking Da Vinci while having the artistic capabilities of like a five-year-old at best. That is all I have for you guys today. Please comment down below your favorite homebody cozy product. Stay cozy and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.